Hey guys, it's me again, Allie, today, and I'm going to be showing you how to do the Spirilla Rainbow Loom Bracelet. So, this is what it looks like. It's basically just a fishtail inside and then with this little coat, like this little um outer layer. So, you are supposed to, this is what it looks like straight and you can twist it and it looks really nice. Um, I would choose other color combos, but this is the only one I have so far because this was the first one I made. So that's what it looks like twisted, and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a fishtail bracelet. This is pretty easy, but um, so this is kind of going to be like a combination video with like the fishtail so you're kind of know going to find out how to do the fishtail if you don't know how to do that and then adding the outer layer so the first thing you're going to want to do is twist your first color band into an eight like that and put it on two pegs and then it should look like that okay and push it down a little bit and then you're going to want three color three bands on um, the two pegs so put another color on push it down and then you're going to get your next color and then put that over so now you have three bands and you're going to want to just take your hook and then take the bottom eight and bring that over to the center so take the other one and bring it over to the center so it should look something like this so now you only have two bands and you need three so I'm gonna just add another one and then take your hook and add that one to the center the bottom one and then so now you're basically looming and you just do that until you get the desired length you want. Excuse my nails. <laughs> but you just take it, the bottom one, and bring it over. Oops. And basically, you just keep on doing that on and on and on until you get the desired length of my bracelet and I'm going to just start doing that a little bit more sorry about the sun push down add another band just take the bottom I'll just do this a few more times till I cut the video to um, make the other part of the bracelet. Just take the bottom one and bring it over. And yeah, so now just make this the desired length you want and then come back with my video um, so yeah it's going to start looking like that it's a little bit weird but so yeah um, I'm going to cut this video and the next time you see it which is going to be in a few seconds you are going to see my full fish tail and we're going to find out how to make the outer layer so bye Oh, hi guys, it's Allie, and I'm back with the tutorial. So, let's get started. So, this is the length um, that I'm using. Well, if you can see, it's, my wrist is pretty small, so it's the right length. And so, yeah, you just have it like that. Now, you're going to take your outside color. Mine's going to be like a rainbowish, whatever. But, um, you're going to take this, 
and we're gonna have to close that off. So what I mean by that is we're gonna like make it so it can be clipped. So we're gonna take the bottom band. So there's two bands right now. We're gonna take the bottom band and bring that up and over on both sides. So I'm just taking that yellow band and then bring it up and over. So it's like that. Now you have two, I mean, now you just have one band on each peg. And you're going to want to put it on the other side. Okay, sorry, my bad. So you're just going to take the other band and bring it to another peg. So we're just bringing it on this peg. Of course, it doesn't want to work with me. So now there should be two bands. So now take your clip. I have an S clip, but I usually use C clips, but we don't have any. And I'm just going to take this, what I made right here, and put it on my needle just because it's kind of easier for me. Put the rainbow loom aside, and then just clip that. So just clip that loop with the S clip takes me a little to get this actually on the clip, I know. You can just take it off of everything because it doesn't really, the bands don't really slip away easily. So now that you got it hooked, you can take the other side and you see the last, the last loopy, loop, the last circle, which is my two pink ones is right here and we're going to put that back on the loom back on two pegs so we're going to separate it like this and we're going to put it like kind of upside down so we're going to take it like this and put it like so so it's kind of just like this so this is what it should look like just one band on each peg and it should kind of look upside down. So now to make the outside, it's actually quite easy. I'm going to just push down a little to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to open this just a little bit. I'm going to bring the camera over so you can just see a little bit easier. Alright, so now we just have it like that. And what you're going to do is take the outside color you're using, so this would be like the black part in this. I'm just doing like a rainbowish thingy. And we're putting it through this side that's clipped. So take that band, put it through the bracelet like this. And then you're going to want to, when it gets to the end, just put it on those two pegs. Like so. And do you need to um, do you need another one? Okay, so it, there only has to be two bands on each peg. And what you're going to do is take the bottom band again and bring it over into the center, like we were doing before. So we're going to bring that over the orange band we just added. So it kind of just looks like that. Push down, add your next color, put it through your bracelet, and then add it to the pegs, and then just take that bottom color, which is the orange, and then bring it over to the center, and basically you just keep on doing this over and over and over until the whole thing is covered. So I'm just going to do a few more of these. You have to put it through the bracelet, the band through the base bracelet. You can't put it just straight on the pegs because it just doesn't work like that. So yeah. Do not pull the bracelet. Just letting you know. I don't know why my teacher just told me to say that. 
Okay, so you're just taking the bottom band and bringing it over. And I'll just do this a couple more times just so you guys will kind of get it. Taking our next band, bring it through, and then bring it onto the pegs. Taking that bottom band and just looping it over. So now you can just watch me a little bit. You can pause the video if you kind of get what I'm saying. If you still don't really understand what I'm doing, just keep on watching. So just put it through. And then two, take the bottom band, bring it over. Okay, one more. So we're just taking the bottom band, bring it over. So now we're just going to cut the video, and you just keep on doing that until it covers the whole bracelet. Um, and we'll be right back. Guys, I'm back, and I finished the rainbow loom. I finished like doing the outside. Of this, I'll just let that focus a little. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It's like rainbow, so it's a little bit weird. But that's all the colors I had. But anyway, so once you get to this point in which it's all covered, you just take the bottom band. So I'll just show this a little bit better by just like going like that. So you just take the bottom band and you just bring it over into the center and we have a special thing for this so now it's like this and you don't really want this here so we're just gonna here so we're just gonna take these two bands these two orange ones that stick out so like that. We're just going to take those two and then like kind of fold it how the other ones are. So just like kind of pinch it like that. So it's like that. And I'm going to put it over the pink. So we're just going to pull, hold on. Sorry, um, I'm kind of making this up as I go because my little sister forgot how to end this, so not my fault. But we're just gonna pull this until it's like right there. I'll just pull that. And then we're gonna put this band on a C clip. Our other side. So we're just gonna take it and C clip it. being difficult for me. I'm just going to pull it a little bit more. And when you get it like this, you're going to just clip it. Like that! So that is the finished product. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.